Hello everybody and welcome to The Park, a newly released horror game that was actually gifted to me yesterday by one of uh, one of you guys, who turned out to be one of my Steam friends as well, so thank you very much for that. You're just reaffirming that although I don't have too many people that follow me and watch my stuff, you are the best people out there, seriously, thank you very much. Anyway, The Park, I honestly don't know too much about it. I know it's recently released, I think it came out yesterday or the day before. Um, it's set, I believe, in the world of The Secret World, which is a PC MMO, which I have played but I haven't played in about two years, so if there's any references to it, I'm probably not going to get them. Um, it's been it's been described to me as a, a walking simulator, so I guess it might be a, a little bit like Dear Esther or maybe Layers of Fear, which I really enjoyed recently. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to try the game out, so I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Okay. Good to know. This is perfectly normal and should not be any cause for alarm or psychiatry. Better to be safe than sorry, though. I'm going to book an appointment. Apparently it lasts between one and two hours, so this might be done in just two or three videos. I guess we'll see. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Okay. What well, was so we're going to inquire about like lost and found for the bear, is that right? Okay, fair enough. Well, we do look like Secret World characters, and this kind of does look like the Secret World. I do remember it being quite a, a decent-looking ga uh, game, especially for an MMO. So I guess Atlantic Island Park, is this an area you can visit in the MMO? Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Yeah, it does look a bit empty, doesn't it? Please prepare the park for shutdown. Okay, so information is going to be somewhere nearby, I suppose? Interact with objects in the world, like what? Like this. Like the plaque. Let's examine the plaque. Can I examine the plaque? Can I not get close enough to examine? There we go. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. <laughs> May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all those who follow after. Nice use of the word infect there. I like that. Okay. Let's see then. Oh, information. Here we go. Let oh, and tickets as well. She's freaking out for some reason. Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop. I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Okay, a little shit. So, we've got to go find him, I suppose. Wait, no, how, wait, hang on. How did he get into the park if the gates were locked? He's small, but he's not small enough to, like, squeeze through the turnstiles. I don't get it. I don't, anyway, um, right. Wait for mommy, Callum. All right. This way. That's kind of cool. Callum, where are you going? Over here. He's up there somewhere. Oh, yeah, I can see him. Uh, but there's something else that I seem to be drawn to. Right, something I can examine, a flyer. Okay, the Atlantic Island Park flyer. Welcome to Atlantic Island Park. Let's see what we got. Lots of stuff for the little ones, the teens and the big ones. Places to eat, places to sleep. Okay. Pretty cool. And I think that <laughs> that funny little character in the middle there is the, uh, is the mascot, Chad the Chipmunk. He's in a lot of the screenshots, I know that. Right. Let's follow him then. Let's go. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. Move your legs. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. Y you want to get There's your no kid, right? Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. 
Well, you don't seem to be in any rush to go and find him. Right. So it's closing time straight away. I... What the hell? I seem to be having a little bit of a moment. Oh. What? How long was I on that escalator? <laughs> Alright, well that's the longest trip ever. Maybe I did a few runs. But here we are. I suppose this is where the fun really begins. Oh god. The park. What happened here? Oh, so I can run. Callum! Well, he didn't even say anything this time. He must be right out of earshot. Let's have a look, though. It's easy to get lost here. Okay, so there's a few things. I guess I'm down there. Yeah, entrance to Sideshow Alley and everything. House of Horrors, Tunnel of Tales, the Octatron. There's a Ferris wheel and bumper cars. And a roller coaster all the way over there. Alright, so let's have a look at Sideshow Alley, I suppose. There's the Ferris wheel over there, I see. Wait, Callum. Where is he? Oh, hang on. There, there he is. Yes, I can, you little shit. Just watch me. Okay. Oh, he's just ever so slightly faster than me. And is that the House of Horrors? Wow. That's pretty imposing. Callum. Where did you go? Silly question. Ah, oh, don't let bats stop you. Okay, maybe a little bit of a moment again. Oh, and off he goes. I'm never going to catch him now. Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. What? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just let's just screw Callum for the for the meantime. I'll catch up to him later. Let's go into the House of Horrors. Let's see what this has really got in store for me. Bloody dark though, isn't it? <laughs> The light at the end of the tunnel? Too dark. Oh. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. You know, I was just about to ask that. I guess we're going to get one at some point. Or some sort of light source. Alright. I guess I'll be coming back to you. Okay. So, well, let's let's just keep following Callum. That's what I'm probably meant to do. I didn't want to catch up to him on the escalator. But for, for now, for some reason, I do. Callum! Where did you go? This way, Mommy. He's up there somewhere. Oh, what's that? Oh, is that Chad? That could be Chad the Chipmunk. Okay. It's pretty cool so far. It's on the Unreal Engine 4, so it looks pretty good. A shoe? I think this belongs to Calm. He's missing his shoe. He was running so fast, he left his shoe behind. Wow. He really doesn't want to leave. Weird. Hello. Chad, right? You must be Chad the Chipmunk. Is that blood? Hang on, is that a man in a costume pretending to be a statue? <laughs> Wait a minute, there's a plaque here. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. <laughs> yeah, probably. Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead-end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Not very well liked then, Chad the chipmunk. Should I be worried about you? I think that actually is blood. Yeah. Callum! Callum! Stay Ooh. where you are! Okay. Over What's this? Oh, he's down there somewhere. But first, there's a hand... What's that? The... Tannoy? That's creepy. Who's whispering? Hang on, there's a handwritten note here. What is this about? That's very small print, but I'm going to see if I can read it out for you. Purchase the land of Solomon Island for a pittance. I might add whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals. Just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the, uh, the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Hedison, uh, he did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. I have a great vision for this place, and the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. The name is perfect, and I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. Hmm. So we're dealing with a cursed amusement park, then. Is it's cursed land? Okay, I like it so far. Can we go inside the restroom, I wonder? No, I guess not. I don't know how you might open doors, really. What about if I try the gents instead? I can barely see it, but... No, okay. 
Come back. So he's down there somewhere? Come on, Mommy. Over there somewhere. Not so much a walking simulator right now as a, a running simulator. Where is he then? Where are we? Uh, uh, is this the tunnel? Yeah, it's the tunnel. The Tunnel of Tales. Come back, Callum. Hang on. Callum, stay where you are. Hang on a minute. There he is, the little bugger. He's on the swan. Callum. Right, so I guess I've got to um, ride the rides and follow him. Is that right? Come on, okay. Mommy. Well, looks like there's another one just for me. Despite the park being closed, everything seems to be working. Can we get on? Yep, yeah, ride swan. Let's do it. <laughs> That's pretty cool so far, honestly. I can't really have too much bad to say about this game. It was gifted to me, so... I always like it when games are gifted to me. Not trying to encourage it. Don't part with your money if you don't absolutely want to, but I do like it in the gift of a game every now and then. I probably shouldn't have, have, uh, have got on this, though, should I? I probably just should have waited, because this is a track. It's just like a circuit, isn't it? He's going to come back to the same dock I just left. Oh, well. Callum, why did you go? Oh. <laughs> there go. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. This is the tale? Named Hansel. Oh, Hansel and Gretel. And a girl named Gretel. I know they this one. very poor and had very little to bite or suck. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. <laughs> Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel. Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Well, we all know how this one ends, don't we? The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. Here it comes. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Whoa, 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 whoa. what's going on? What's going on? God, it's so dark. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Until they found a house made of sweets and candies and stuff, right? That's how this goes. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. There you go. Sorry its for the spoilers. Were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Little shit. my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought 
you here. Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. <laughs> the old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You know what? I defend everything she does. I don't blame her at all. Fear here? Come inside, the old woman urged. And the children, still licking their sweets, followed. I mean, they were trying to eat her out of house and home, literally. What would you do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Once inside the house, Jeez. <laughs> she stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. She may have gone a little bit too far in a few places, but still, I defend her. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said. The opening is here! And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. <sighs> and who are the real bad guys here, really? Then, because even children can't survive on sweets, <laughs> what? they divided up the body of the old witch <laughs> and ate her. <laughs> I don't remember that bit! There's a few little tweaks with that story, but that bit... <laughs> Maybe I just didn't listen to the very end of the story, but I don't think that ever happened. Right, I'm still no closer to Callum, but... Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> well, that's... that's okay, that's meant to happen, right? That's just part of the ride. Nothing paranormal has actually happened yet. Everything seems to be going absolutely fine. I just went on a little little ride. Got told the story of Hansel and Gretel. It was fantastic. But, um, yeah, let's get off now. And what a surprise. Callum's not here waiting for me. Where's he gone now? Right, well, there you go. There's that. Um, Where's my boy? Where is my boy? Bloody hell. That's a loud whisper. That was from over there. I guess he's gone down the path. Right, let's go back up. Um, so, are we just going to go from like event to event, Hansel ride to ride? I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. I'm going to take your word for it, but I, I do have another question. Did you turn into a cannibal like Hansel and Gretel apparently did? I certainly hope not. He's somewhere up here. Let's just keep going, shall we? Oh, what's up? What's this? Uh, Another accident. Park maintenance. This place. Another accident. Okay. Oh, right. Let's have a look. Oh! I <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Oh, no wonder there's an accident. There's a teddy bear driving. With something stuck in his eye. 
There's a note too. Well, it's more of this, I guess. Okay. Despite the constant interruptions to, uh, to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether he will, we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the banned writings of Archie Henderson. Uh, Fors astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative, uh, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon, I will know if this has all been for nothing. Okay, I'll, I'll be the first to admit I'm not really sure exactly what I read there. The taint, eh? Something to do with the curse, I guess. Okay. See you later, Mr. Bear. I guess that's not the bear we're looking for, right? So, not only is he running away from me, he's now mocking me as well. <laughs> I hope he does find his bear, because he's going to need it when I give him the spanking of a fucking lifetime. This has been kind of creepy so far. It's a run of, it reminded me a little bit of Colat, actually. Not so much Dear Esther or Layers of Fear. Something like in between. There's a little bit of interactivity. Yep, okay, alright. We're heading towards the Octatron. Is that where we're going to meet him? Oh, there it is. There it is. That's the Octatron. Where are you? Follow the trail. Well, that's what I'm doing. Don't you want your shoe back? Where are you? <laughs> he must be somewhere over here then. That's a strange looking octopus, I can tell you that much. Alright, is he one of the rights? Make me dizzy. I I don't think he's on this one. We've got like a report down here. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. It's a police report? An eyewitness report. Okay, I'm gonna read this. We were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving, while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man. He was carving and picking away at the ice, and at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or lion. But as more, uh, more and more ice fell away, when you first looked it was a human face, smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster. Like you were prey, and that thing in the ice was a hunter. Strange. But then, these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos. Everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground. And he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick. And blood was spraying and people were screaming. And Frank and I had the kids. And we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw, before Frank dragged me away, was that the eyeball of one of the poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture. Making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Fucking hell, creepy. Right. Um, I'm going to be extremely wary of the guy in the chipmunk suit then. <laughs> That's That wasn't a statue, was it? That was a guy in a chipmunk suit. Anyway, I'm not seeing Callum on this ride. Um, so I don't know if I need to ride this one or what. Is that how we get, is that how we get in over there? Let's just have a look, shall we? Tell mommy where you are. It's got to be somewhere around here, right? Oh, uh, hang on. No, it's it's this. I can... Oh, I can actually control it. Increase or decrease speed. D uh, decrease it, I guess? Or increase it, maybe? I don't know. Just keep decreasing. We want it to stop, really, don't we? Just get a good look at all the cars coming around. I'm pretty sure Callum's not on it. I don't, maybe we do need to ride it. I mean, might as well, right? Alright. So who's increasing the speed? This is weird. Hang on. No. There's someone in there. I don't know if it's Callum. It might be a chipmunk. I'm having a bit of a moment again. Bloody hell. Decrease the speed a little, would you? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck was that? 
Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Oh, he's gone. What the f What the hell was that? <laughs> that really got me. There's still uh, there's still someone in there. You can just see it. Hang on, is it a smaller version of what I just saw? The guy in a hat? It might be. It actually might be. That's not Callum. Oh, don't fade out. He's going to disappear now. He's definitely going to disappear. Hang on, wait. Ah, he's gone. Right. That was weird. <laughs> that, was, that was really creepy. Callum, where are you? Let's have a look then. There's something else over here. A Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> you look fucking thrilled to be there. Oh, shit. There's that guy in the hat again behind them. Oh. Keep hearing whispering over this tunnel system. This is actually turning out to be kind of creepy. I'm quite, I'm kind of intrigued. Um, so there's two rides down. What do we go to next? Don't hide from me, Callum. I guess we go across this bridge over here. In fact, this is where I'm actually going to leave the first video. Hides and thoughts. <laughs> a treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing, and I thought, Is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought alrighty then I wonder if we can actually go in here I think it's worth having a look probably not mommy needs to see you Callum he's over there somewhere I can never see him he's always just out of just out of shot Oh, don't you worry. I'm going to catch you. But next time, thank you very much for watching this first video. I guess in the next part, we'll be going to the bumper cars. See you then. So, we've got to go find him, I suppose. Wait, no, how, wait, hang on. How did he get into the park if the gates were locked? He's small, but he's not small enough to, like, squeeze through the turnstiles. Bloody hell. Decrease the speed a little, would you? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. What the fuck was that? Whoa!